importance of elasticity of demand. Elasticity of demand are the following importance. Elasticity of demand, first of all, this is, elast is the degree of responsiveness change of change of quantity of demand due to change of price. The first one, the importance is I rely on the government. The concept of elasticity of demand is important in the issue of taxation. In issue of uh, in issue of taxation as well, but also the valuation policies. What importance gives in taxation? Normal, most of the government in the world impose high taxes on goods which have an elastic demand, such as beer and cigarettes. So the reason for this is that the demand for such commodities is uh, is actually influenced by the habit. Therefore, it is not affected by the increase in price due to the increase in tax. So in this case, now the government is able to collect revenue from the commodities. On the other hand, the, the government also may impose out we impose up a given tax in order to collect more revenue. So the government loses revenue by imposing high taxes, high taxes on goods with elastic demand. Not only that, but also the issue of devaluation policies. So elasticity of demand is very important. In the issue of government, especially in the issue of devaluation policy. Devaluation policy is a reduction. Is a, devaluation is an effective and it's only elasticity of demand for export. So this is a reduction in values of the domestic currency in terms of the foreign currencies. So when the currency devalued, the exports become cheaper while the imports become more expensive. So a country is therefore able to export more goods abroad and to import less from abroad. Hence now the country balance of payment improves. Nevertheless, now for the devaluation to be successful, it depends on the elasticity of demand for exports and imports. So devaluation is effective if and only if elasticity of demand for export is elastic, as well as the elasticity of demand for imports. So the valuation will be less effective when the elasticity of demand for export and import is less elastic. At the same time, the country import will decrease by a large amount. Therefore, now the country spend less revenue in imports. But when the elasticity of demand is inelastic, now the valuation will not be helpful because a decrease in the price due to evaluation will cause a smaller increase in demand for export of a country. Therefore, now a country will get less of the foreign currencies. At the same time, the country will spend more foreign currencies on the imports when the imports have an elastic demand. So the reason that when the country devalues currency, imports becomes more expensive, but the demand for imports do not decrease by a large proportion due to the fact that they have an elastic demand demand and hence now the country will continue to import almost the same quantity and spend more revenue. But also something that we should not forget is that the importance of elasticity of demand does not lie only to the government but also to businessmen. Why to businessmen? We need actually to understand that uh, most of the business people, most of the business business people sell goods which have an elastic demand. So the reason is that the consumers buy almost the same quantity when the price of such goods increases. So now goods which have an elastic demand include all necessities of life, for example, food stuff, clothes, and the goods without clothes substitutes. So business people now will gain more profit by raising the price of goods with an elastic demand. On the other hand, business will avoid selling goods with elastic demand because consumers decreases quantity demanded by a large amount when the price of this commodity increases. But also Another important, another importance of elasticity of demand is not only to businessmen, but also to a monopolist, to a monopolist who dominate the same, a single seller who dominate in the market. A monopolist who practices price discrimination, he normally fixes different prices in different markets depending on the elasticity of demand in those two markets. So he normally he fixes higher prices. In the market where consumers have an elastic demand. And the monopoly 
fixes a lower price in the market in which the consumers have elastic demand. He believes that by fixing a higher price in the market where there is a, an elastic demand, this means that the market does not, the consumers in that particular market are not affected with any change in price level. So their minimal, their speed on making consumption is very high, constant, is not affected by any change in the price. And they fix the lower price to the market where consumers are highly affected with the price level due maybe to their low income or to their less affordability on those purchases of goods and services. Because now, for this case now, that is how monopolies operate. So because in the market which uh, consumers have an elastic demand, quantity demanded by the consumers will decrease by a small amount when the price is raised, unlike in the market which the consumers have an elastic demand, where the consumers will decrease quantity demanded by a large amount when the price is raised. So maybe we can try to generate this concept on how monopolies fixes this kind of prices. In the, depending on the type of elasticity of demand in the particular market. Let's try to sketch a graph in an elastic demand. Remember, as I told you, to a monopolist normally fixes higher prices to an elastic demand by knowing that the consumers who purchase a certain goods and services are not affected at all with any change of price. So if you try to sketch the graph or this particular graph will appear like this in elastic demand. So we'll be having the price level, that is, uh, on the left-hand side we have the price level, and the, at x-axis we have the quantity in kilogram. So this is the quantity demanded in kilogram, and we have the price level, that is 20 to 100. So, as you can observe this graph over here, monopolist normal fixes in a higher price. It fixes a, a higher price in elastic demand because he believes that any increase of price from 20 to 100 does not actually cause any change or decrease in quantity demanded. This means that the flow of the consumptions normally increases as normal as main constants. So it normally increases. So it fixes an elastic demand by knowing that any change of price does not cause any change of quantity demand. So any change of price from 20 to 100 causes smaller decrease in quantity demand. This means that there will be no a greater decrease in quantity demand. So there will be only a small amount increase, a small decrease, not a large increase, a small increase because he believes that most of the consumers are affordable uh, to make a high purchase on higher prices goods and services. So this means that when the price increases to changes to 20 to 100, you will see the small change of quantity demanded is shifted from only one digit 10 to 9. So that is how it is. So if a monopoly charges a higher price at 100, he will earn a 900 revenue. That will take out 9 times 10. That will give you the total amount of uh, total revenue. But when a monopoly changes a price or charges a price at 20, it will earn out uh, 200 revenues. This means that it will be a low revenue as when you compare when it charges a higher price of uh, 100. So normally, remember, total revenue is obtained by taking price times quantity. So when you take out price times quantity at that minimum amount, when you take 10 times 9, it will be equals to 900. And when you take 20, uh, when you take out 20 times 5, that is equal to 200 revenue. So that is how it is. Let's now, it will be better now we look on the type of elastic market. What about if the monopoly is set at a price at an elastic market? Normally a monopoly, as I told you, fixes or charges a small amount of price 
to a market which is elastic by knowing that any changes of price affect the change the change the quantity demanded of a consumer So a case of elastic market, as you can observe, any change, uh, a monopoly fixes a higher price, it's a small price level, by knowing any, there's an, a big effect of changing of price level to the consumers. So when you sketch out the graph, with the graph will appear like this. On the right hand side, you have the price in Tanzania shillings. And the, at the x-axis, you have the quantity demanded in Tanzania shillings. So this the graph will appear like this. So we have the price level and we have the quantity demanded. So the demand curve cut across over there. So at the x axis we have the quantity demanded and the y axis we have the price level in Tanzanian shillings. We have 0, 05 20 and that the x axis the quantity demanded. This is the demand curve. So, uh, as you can observe, if there is a, a changing of price, if any change of price happen in this type of uh, market, elastic demand market, when there is any change of price, either increase or decreasing, it lead to a greater change of quantity demanded. As you can observe, there is a greater change as when you compare to an elastic demand market. So, when you, there is any change of price, bring the bigger effect on the change of quantity demanded. This means that no. That's why the monopoly normally fixes a small price by knowing that there is a big effect of the consumption due to change of price of commodities. So normally normal revenue is given by taking total revenue that is price times quantity. So a monopoly still will change the price of 150 on a commodity because he gets a uh, it gets out a more revenue. So if we if we will ch will charge most of the monopoly will charge a price of 150 by knowing that he or she will generate more revenue because many of the consumers fears of the higher price because their affordability is very low. So when he charges at 20, this means that he get out a small revenue as when you compare to as when you compare to when he charges uh, when he charges 150. So that is how it is. When he charges 15, sorry, when he charges 15, when he charges 150 and 200 as well. So when he charges 100, when he charges 150 and 300, this means that the total revenue estimated is quite different. So the graph will appear like that. 